But first at four, one week after a New Bedford police detective is shot in the face while working undercover, a suspect is facing a judge and answering to charges. Good afternoon, I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Kayla Fish. We've also learned today the shooting was a drive-by shooting. 20-year-old Chaban Vasconcelos Furtado is being accused of driving the car, but investigators say the shots were fired from the back seat. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto breaks down what we learned in court today. And Sheena, is there any update on how that detective is doing? Well, today we were told he's doing well. That was the first question we asked the New Bedford police chief. More than a dozen police officers were here today at the courthouse as that suspect faced a judge. This was the scene last Monday night in New Bedford at Orchard and Rivet Streets. Detective LeVar Gilbert, a 17 year veteran of the force, was working undercover when police say he was shot in the face. Gilbert drove himself to the hospital as a major investigation began. He's doing well. He's got a long uh, road to recovery uh, still ahead of him, but uh, yeah, we're happy to report that uh, he's in good spirits and he's, and he's doing well. Today, 20 year old Chaban Vasconcelos Furtado was arraigned on several charges in connection to the shooting. Police allege he was the driver of the car that night and the shooter was in his back seat. Prosecutors say the white Honda Accord they were in was first spotted on Tallman Street at the memorial of a recent homicide. Then video evidence allegedly brings them to the shooting scene about eight minutes later. Multiple muzzle flashes come from the rear of that vehicle that's being operated by the defendant. Uh, the vehicle then makes its way uh, through the city where it's captured on several other cameras. The defense emphasizes her client is not the alleged shooter in this case. Several police officers were in the courtroom today as Vasconcelos Hurtado answered to his charges, including armed assault with intent to murder. Can't uh, really comment on the investigation, but I can tell you that this is not the end of this investigation. As you, as you heard in court, uh, there's definitely more work to be done and uh, we're currently doing that today. A not guilty plea was entered on behalf of the suspect today. We're told right now he has a few different open cases. He'll be back in court for this, though, on August 25th. Reporting live in New Bedford, I'm Sheena Loshudo.